Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and we're at Caballo Lake. C-A-B-A-L-L-O, a double L in Spanish, is a Y. But yeah, we're going to drive through and let you see this place. This is, with the first loop we'll go through here, it's called the Appaloosa Loop. They have the Appaloosa Loop, the Stallion Loop and other loops and they're all named after horses because caballo in Spanish means what? Horse. So here we go. That's site number 22 right there and across from it is site number 21. Makes sense, doesn't it? That's the lake straight ahead. There's not. It's about 6% full roughly. Uh, there, this lake and Elephant Butte Lake are way low. Very low extremely low but we're just cruised through it looks like they're about 30 percent full here about 30 percent of the sites are taken which uh, you know gives you an idea about the hype on all the rv sites being taken you know maybe that is a lot of hype depends on where you are in texas i think you probably have a hard time finding a campsite at State Park because I looked at a few of the more popular ones and yeah they're they're full <clears throat> you get into this section here there's a few more people but overall again I think it's about a third full all kind of ways to camp ain't it folks you got pop-ups and tents and casitas and geo pros and all kind of stuff and that's life guys everybody doing their own thing that's number 10 on the right there number nine etc on the left is 29 and uh, 30 so that give you an idea where you're at it's a little cas casita there right? I lived in one of those for over two years. Unbelievably. Yeah, this is this is the kind of the entrance road here, but we're gonna go to the right. Yeah, that was Appaloosa campground. If you go to the left here, you go out. If you go to the right, you go down to the lake. So we'll head down to what remains of the lake. And it's a high desert, guys, that uh, not a lot of rain here. They count on the, the summer rains and uh, sometimes they happen and sometimes they don't. There's another loop there I didn't go through. I may catch it on the way back. But this is going down to, it. actually the, the lake is up a little bit because uh, We've had uh, some, some of the monsoon season rains have, uh, that sign says road ends in water. Well, it's supposed to, I think. But that is Caballo Lake, formed by the Rio Grande. There's a dam off to the right about maybe a half a mile. And this river is used, you know, of course, for drinking water, for one, and also for irrigation for hatch chilies and a lot of other things yeah the boat ramps are yeah you can actually get down to the water now so that's a, a big improvement over the last time i was here when the ramps were kind of hanging in midair <clears throat> so we'll go into the sun here for a minute and then we'll be out of it because i'll turn left into the other loop that i missed there's another place here called Percha Dam, and I'm not sure if that's a separate state park or just part of this, but it's right within a mile of where we are right now. And then of course Elephant Butte's about 30 miles away, going north on 25, and supposedly it's like 5% full. It's extremely low. 
let's see, there's a loop here. Yeah, let's go in here. See what they've got aside. This is called, actually it's called reservation sites available. <laughs> there's no name for this loop. Oh, these, these are full hookups. Okay, Th these are the, the full hook. This is the full hookup loop. Th this loop, they got water, sewer, and electric. The other two loops, the Appaloosa loop and the Stallion loop just have water and electric, but, but, uh, I would I, I think nearly all the sites in this whole state park are pull-throughs. And they've got restrooms and showers. If you stay, uh, if you have the state park pass, a full hookup site is eight dollars a day. Very reasonable. I think uh, this is probably the best state for camping, but it's it's rugged out here. This is a uh, high desert. Can be really hot in the summers. Even right now, this is part of the summer, of course. This is August the 17th, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, but that's the lake off to the right. Can't see much of it, maybe. There is some boondocking around here. Uh, you can go down by the lake and camp for free, but you have no water, no sewer, no nothing, no electric. So you know, if you had a generator and the weather was nice, why not? guy camping in a coach. Now we'll go back around to the stallion loop and we'll end this video. Not a lot of movement here right now. There's some walking trails right out here, right straight ahead there. And I've walked them pretty many times. They're well marked, uh, makes it easy to uh, get around. You know, you can take a good long walk in the mornings when the temperature at this time, in this time of the year, at this time of the year, the uh, morning temperatures will be in the 60s and the afternoons in the mid to upper 80s. That's where you come in right there, straight ahead. And then this goes to Stallion Campground and we'll loop around and we'll end up at my Class C and won't that be exciting? Yeah, New Mexico, if you either love it or you don't. I mean, it's high desert. Uh, this is basically the whole state, what you're seeing right here. Uh, other than they do have mountains and they do there's forests of course you get around Rodoso, Santa Fe, Taos, Cloudcroft those are forested areas but most of it is like this right here creosote, mesquite, cactus of every type the camp host is living in a converted uh, tra a trailer of some kind Temperature right now shows to be about 88, which is probably correct because this is about the hottest time of the day, and this is not, this is August, this is a hot time of the year. Okay. And this is the way I go home, and this, you just saw my neighborhood. It says one way, speed limit five, well, we'll do that. So on the right is site number 32 with a barking dog and uh, on the right here is site number 33 and the vacant site here next to me is 34 
and then we get to mine. Yeah, talk about an easy pull through, man. These are these are pretty good. I mean, they're big, long pull throughs, and that makes it pretty nice. So I'll pull in here, like in this, and then I'll point my ship right into the sun so I can put my windshield cover on, and I'll do that right now. But anyway, guys, from Caballo Lake, uh, on the in, on the in the continuing journey. Hopefully it lasts a long time. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, but use the Amazon link if you choose to. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. And keep your health. Adios, amigos. Bye bye.